Hey, I'm Vince, co-founder and CEO of SunDrive. It's a, uh, a real privilege to be part of Blackbird's Impact Summit and to be able to share in a little more detail who we are and what we do. So we are a solar technology startup. Uh, when it comes to solar, I'm sure for most people, the first thing they think of is a solar panel, which is what we have here. So at SunDrive, we develop better solar cells, which are the individual squares that you see within the solar panel. So for this particular panel, we have 60 solar cells and I have one here, which you can see. And as you can tell, they are uh, paper thin. So last year alone, around 20 billion of these solar cells were made around the world. Now that may sound impressive as the world transitions to renewable energy, but with only 1% of world of the world's current energy being met by solar we are going to need a lot more of these and the problem is this particular solar cell was never designed to scale to the levels that we need uh, and that largely comes down to the materials that are used so if you look closely at the surface you will see a series of lines all these lines are made out of silver which is expensive and limited in supply to give you an idea around half the cost of converting a bare silicon wafer into a finished solar cell is just due to the use of silver alone. So how much of a problem is this and what is our solution? Well today around 20% of all the world's industrial silver consumption just goes into making solar cells and with most predictions estimating that before the end of this decade the solar, uh, solar manufacturing is going to grow at least five times. Uh, this obviously represents a massive challenge. On top of this, today's commercial solar cells are at their efficiency limits. Efficiency being the percentage of incoming light that can be converted into electricity. And uh, manufacturers have realized this and they are trying to move towards more efficient solar cell designs, but they require even more silver. So on one hand, we need more solar cells, and on the other hand, we need more efficient solar cells. And what is preventing both of these from occurring simultaneously is the use of silver. At SunDrive, we are developing solar cells that are based on copper. So if you look at the surface of the cell, all those lines are, are made out of copper. Uh, copper is around 100 times cheaper per kilogram and uh, around 1,000 times more abundant than silver. Aside from the uh, abundancy and cost benefits of, sil of, sorry, of copper, um, we have found that we can even improve the efficiency above and beyond what is attainable with silver. And in September of last year, we officially made uh, the world's most efficient commercial size solar cell. So, you. so for a consumer, uh, ultimately, what that means is you can generate more power per meter squared on your roof and this will become increasingly more important uh, with, the, with the adoption of things like uh, battery storage, electric vehicles and the general push towards electrifying everything. So on that note, uh, let's go check out uh, where our solar cells are made. So this is where we make and test our solar cells. Over here we have Jess who's doing uh, quality control testing. You can think of this piece of equipment as a x-ray machine for solar cells. So it allows us to see if there's any impurities or imperfections or problems deep within the solar cell that we can't visually see. So if you look at the image here, wherever it's bright is good and wherever it's dark is not so good. Over here we have Lynn who's doing some solar cell efficiency measurements. And on the far side here, we have Jeremy who's doing hey guys. 3D microscope imaging of our copper lines. If you want to get a better idea on how our solar cells are made, do check out our first video on our YouTube channel. All right, let's go see where we turn our solar cells into panels.
This is where we turn our cells into modules or panels. We have Daniel here who's making a small module. Yeah. So this involves first creating a stack where the bottom layer is usually glass or a polymer back sheet. And then you have a layer of encapsulant which turns into a clear glue when heated up. Then you have the cells, another layer of encapsulant and then the top sheet of glass. This then goes into a heated vacuum chamber where the encapsulant melts and the air is sucked out. After this process, you essentially have a module or a panel. If you look over here, this is SunDrive's very first commercial size uh, module that we made at the end of last year. To my right, we have a couple of environmental testing chambers. We have Chris here who's doing module efficiency measurements. And to my left, if you remember in the last room, there was uh, the x-ray machine for solar cells. You can think of this as a x-ray machine for modules. Okay, let's head on out through here. This is our workshop where we design and build a lot of our own equipment. Uh, we have Matt over here who's putting together a new component for one of our tools. We have Peter on the far side there on the CNC machine. So that concludes our tour. I hope you found it interesting or insightful how we are contributing to solving one of the greatest challenges facing our generation.